Hi, and welcome to another episode of Ask Tom. And today I've got a question from David. So let's hear what David has to ask. Hi, Tom. David Wyrick here. Question for you. So many times I'll get into conversation with people and tell them what I do, and then they want to know about ventriloquism. And sometimes they'll say, hey, do something. Show me what you can do. Do you know any parlor tricks? Well, that might not be a good term, parlor tricks, but things that can be done just right then and there with whatever to be able to demonstrate the art of ventriloquism in a fun sort of way. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hey, David, thank you so much for taking the time to ask your question. And that's a great one. I'll guarantee it. Now, I've got to be honest with you. I've been a professional performer for over 30 years now. I went full-time in 1984. And honestly, I always watched magicians and balloon artists do stuff when they weren't asked. Or, you know, somebody would say, hey, you're a magician at the time. Uh, do a trick. And you know, it kind of got on my nerves because if I was an auto mechanic, people wouldn't say, hey, you're an auto mechanic. Would you fix my car here? Well, they might. Okay. If I was a doctor, they wouldn't say, hey, you're a doctor. Can you repair my heart valve? Because I've got a, you know, you know eh, come on. There are certain professions where they don't do that, but they just seem to think of entertainers as being, you know, show monkeys, I guess, for lack of something better to call it. And I'm not a show monkey. I get paid to do what I do. So when people ask me if I could do a trick or if I could show them ventriloquism, the first thing that goes through my mind is, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I get paid to do that. You can check me out online, check my videos out. I'm not trying to be rude, it's just a lot of times you're not set up for it, or you're, and especially in ventriloquism. You know, there's so many people that just want to be starved. They want to show off their skills. And if you don't do it right, if you haven't caught them in the right mood or you haven't set the thing right, you can end up looking like an idiot. At least that's my opinion. Now, now I'll be honest with you. Mark Wade talked to me about uh, doing a trade show. He was doing, a, I think, a school's trade show. And uh, people would come through and say, hey, could you do some ventriloquism? And he would pick up a pen and do the vis distant voice. And he'd kind of, hey, I don't do a very good distant voice anymore. I haven't done it in years. So, But he would talk to the pen or you know, something like that or talk into a cup. That's fine if that's what you want to do. Um, you know, I, I know at one time I tried to do something with my hand. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. So you do something like that. But um, again, I, I just kind of think of it as a blow off kind of thing. So for me personally, I would just say, hey, no, here's my card. Check out my website. I've got some videos there of me working. And it's going to present a more professional opinion of me. And it's going to show people that, you know, I kind of respect what I do, and I want to be respected as an entertainer. So it's up to you. If you want to do something quick, try Mark's idea. I think the I think the pen, uh, you know, for the uh, distance voice, talking like you're talking into a phone kind of thing, can be very clever. Uh, you could do something quick with your hand. You could do something with uh, something else. I mean, um, you know, totally up to you. But uh, that's they're really the only two things that I've ever you know heard of being done one with the hand one with the the pen and and be myself I don't do it so I hope that answers your question and if you have a question you'd like to ask Tom I'll be happy to give you my thoughts on it just go over to the website leave a message on the speak pipe app and if you're calling from a phone you've got to download the app which is free and you also because it doesn't interact well with the browser on my phone uh, you might have to leave it or send it to an email and my email address is below this video on the website so if you're watching on YouTube just click the link that'll take you over to the website and you can ask me a question hey thank you so much for your time today hope to see you next time on Ask Tom <laughs>